Oh no, I am zoomed in a lot. That's ooh, wrong way. Hi, hello. Uh, I never know how to start these things. What are we doing today? Today is Sunday, the something. Dates are irrelevant. It's Sunday, it's really sunny. Um, I've got a lot to do, so I thought I would bring you along with me. First on the list is record a YouTube video. Yay! Not this one, obviously, though also kind of this one. Um, so I will be doing that for a bit. Um, I'm basically just going to be reading negative Goodreads reviews of some of my favourites again because I love to torture myself. I then have to get some editing done. I also want to draft a newsletter to send out because I've been really bad at that recently. Um, and also me and Dan are going to go for a walk in the sun down to the Harbour Arm because our friend is selling some of her wares, which sounds weird, um, are in a market. So we're going to go down there and enjoy the sunshine and if I remember I will bring you with me. We just got back from a really nice walk. We had Greek food and Greek beer, which might be the closest we get to actually going to Greece this year, which is a bit sad, but it was very nice. Um, I'm just gonna I'm just thunk you over here somewhere. Um, so on the list now, it is just gone 3 p.m. on Sunday. Um, I'm definitely more of a after lunch, afternoon productive person rather than a morning or an evening person. Um, so I've got loads to get on with. I need to do some editing. I want to draft a newsletter. And if I get onto it, I also want to list some stuff on Vinted. And um, if I do lots of secondhand shopping and thrifting and stuff. So that is something else that's on my list, but a, whether I get to it or not, it's less important. So I'm just gonna sit up and get some editing done. I also wanted to give a quick reading update whilst I was on here. Um, I don't know if anyone has read this particular book before. Um, but it's really weird and I don't know if I like it, <laughs> uh, I just know that it's weird. So I'm currently reading The Last House on Needless Street by Catriona Ward and I keep saying The Last House on Needle Street rather than Needless Street. Um, first chapter had me, really interesting narrator, definitely feels like it's gonna be a bit train of thoughty, a little bit unreliable, um, but then the second chapter or the third, I forget now, um, ooh, is from the perspective of a cat, which in and of itself is not necessarily a bad thing, it's a little bit weird, but that's fine. I mean, I've read Nut Show and that's from the perspective of an unborn baby, so I'm into weird. However, just to add weirdness to this cat situation, the cat is religious. I don't know how I feel about it so far. We'll give it some time. <laughs> I also got some goodies when we went out walking, so I'm just going to quickly share those with you for a bit of a change because the shops have opened this week in the UK um, and pubs and restaurants are now uh, allowing people to sit outside as of last Monday, whenever that was. So it's obviously a bit of a new novelty for everyone, so everywhere's quite busy. Um, but we're really lucky. We have somewhere in our hometown called the Harbour Arm, which is exactly what it sounds like. <laughs> it's a harbour um, where we have loads of like eateries um, and there's an outdoor market every Sunday and we've got a friend that sells there. I won't name drop her because she might get a bit awkward but um, I'm going to show you some stuff anyway. So she does some really really cool artwork that is then on the stickers and it's all of local landmarks. Hoping is it ever going to focus? Yay! There it is. So this is one of the stickers. Um, got stickers, fridge magnets, artwork. Ooh. <laughs> got stickers, fridge magnets, that kind of jazz. Um, I'm going to leave a link to her website down below just in case you're in the UK and you want to have a look. And also, really excitingly, so as far as I'm aware, I've been in Folkestone for five years or so. As far as I'm aware, there's not been an India independent bookstore here. I could be wrong, probably wrong. I think like the closest one is probably somewhere called Whitstable, which is too far away to go for an independent bookstore. Um, but I met someone at the market that has started an online independent bookstore um, and they also do a subscription box so I'm going to check them out. I will also leave all their details in the box below. Um, they are also on YouTube and Instagram I believe so I'll put their handle down below. Um, we got some goodies. I'm not going to call it a haul because it's like two books. I'm not really into hauls anyway. Um, but my other half got First Person Singular by Murakami um, because he is currently going through a phase where he wants to look intelligent. <laughs> That was mean, he is intelligent. I do not have any room on the bookshelves for these. I'm gonna have to have to rethink the situation. Um, and I got this book. It's the Gilded Ones by Namina Fauna. I have never heard of it. 
I'm pretty sure it's YA, it looks like YA. Um, I don't really read YA, I'm not gonna lie. I just really liked the cover and the fact that it has sprayed edges is quite cool. Uh, yeah, so I thought I'd just grab that and give it a go. Now I need to get on with editing. <laughs> Um, so I've just edited around 2,000 words. I want to get some more rewritten today. I just had a really, really weird moment and I'm still like kind of recovering from it where I was editing a scene and I don't know what happened. I basically had like deja vu, but sort of maybe the opposite, if that's a thing, if that's possible. So basically I'm editing, re quite heavily rewriting a scene involving some police officers. Done a lot of research. Um, did like a telephone interview with a with an active police officer in Wales, which was really cool. So I'm hoping it's <laughs> reasonably accurate. Um, anyway, that's besides the point. So I'm editing this scene, and then it suddenly occurs to me that I I've already edited the scene, <laughs> and I've already rewritten it. So it's like, have I decided? Did I decide to move the scene earlier? And then I couldn't for the life of me remember if I'd decided to move it earlier on in the book. So then I was trying to find it in my complete whip to see if I moved it earlier and I couldn't find it but I had convinced myself that I'd already moved it and I was rewriting it for a second time by accident and I basically duplicated a scene and I got so in my head that I basically just got really really confused but I I haven't done that <laughs> I think I have some kind of like reverse deja vu thing going on and I just mind blanked um so we're good I didn't do that I've edited around 2,000 words. I don't think I'm gonna to get to do the email today because I'm kind of in a good flow with editing, so I would rather crack on with that. But I'm just gonna stop and grab a coffee and then carry on. Something else I've been thinking about recently too, outside of my current publishing plans, um, is this idea of serialization. Uh, it's kind of a hot topic at the minute because Amazon are launching Kindle Vela, or they may have already launched it. Um, it's in the US only at the moment, and it's basically, uh, like separate to Kindle, but you pay in tokens, so it's an in-app currency, um, and you pay per 100 words of like serialized content. So I'm gathering that the author would release one chapter at a time probably, and then the readers can purchase it. And I find the concept quite interesting. It's not a new concept, um, but it, I love it. I love it when this sort of thing happens, like people wrap this kind of thing up like a brand new idea. And isn't it exciting, like this new technology? In no way is this a new idea. Um, Penny Dreadfuls, loads of stuff in the Victorian era, era was, era? <laughs> loads of stuff in the Victorian era was serialised. Um, so, I mean, it's got quite a, quite a lot of roots in history. I just wonder if it's really interesting and whether or not it would be something that readers would be interested in doing. Um, I think serialization in general I would be interested in exploring maybe as part of my newsletter to start having like a serialized short story or a serialized story episodic situation um but that takes a lot of planning and um that'd be obviously outside of other stuff that I've got going on but out of interest I'd love to know your thoughts in the comments Kindle Vella have you heard of it um are you into the idea even outside of Kindle Vella, would you be interested in something serialised? Of course, if it was on my newsletter, it would be free. Um, but yeah, I'm intrigued. Let me know. I have coffee. Time to get some more stuff done. Hi again. Um, I definitely didn't do as much today as I was meant to. Is that a surprise? No. No, <laughs> no, it's not. Um, on the plus side though, I've edited over 10,000 words today. Um, I have a couple of big scenes that I really want to rework at the end of this and then I just need to get rid of it. I'm having real, real issues letting go and it's weird because I didn't have this for number 47. I kind of wrote it, edited it numerous times, gave it for, to beaters but I don't know, I think it's where the storyline for number 47 is so much simpler. Realistically it's a novella, um, it's quite short and there's only one arc really. Yeah, I think it's fair to say that. Um, yeah, One Road In has a much bigger cast of characters. There's a lot more going on. The theme is a lot more personal, so it's quite a bit harder to let go of. And I think I've learned that. I think I've learned where I have tried to make the theme a bit more personal to me. Um, and therefore, I, I hope it's more emotional. 
Um, it's also harder to let go of because it feels like I am actually fully writing a, a like an extension of my personality, <laughs> which is obviously going to be a bit harder to just just let go of, I suppose. Um, so I really just need to do it. So far, I have given the first half of this to Bethany, um, and she is the only person in the world, <laughs> aside from me, to have read this much of One Road In. Um, so yeah, I just need to do it. I just need to jump in. I just need to send it to people and stop hanging on to it because what use is it if I don't let other people see it? Like, what am I going to possibly learn that I need to fix if I don't let people see it? It's really dumb. And I don't know that I foresaw myself being in this situation, but here we are. We are learning. Um, yeah, I think by the end of this week, I need to get rid of it. I really want to focus on something else for a while. <laughs> um, especially now I've kind of been reading up on this Kindle Vela situation. I'm finding it very interesting. I want to look into it a bit more. I think I have an idea for something that I could do, but I would love to make it a bit more interactive. I just don't know if that's just a bit insane. <laughs> I don't know. I'm, I really need to like, to work out exactly what I want that to look like. Um, whether I just want to do it for free, um, if people would pay, uh, I don't know, via Patreon or something, and I try and do like two chapters a month. I don't know if that's too much. I really don't know. I need to sit down and work out firstly the idea, I guess, that I would write, and then how operationally I would have that working. Um, but most importantly, I need to hear from you guys. Would you be up for reading it? I would love to make it quite interactive, so I don't, I don't really know how to do that either. Um, maybe just do some polls on Instagram or something. Like literally just letting letting my readers choose essentially everything. What genre is it in? What time period is it in? What's the main theme? I literally think it would be really exciting to just let the readers choose everything and then I would just have to write given the prompts that I have. I don't know if that's insane or not. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. Let me know. Is this a good idea? Is this a terrible idea? I think it's officially that time of day where I really don't know if that's a good idea or if it's the worst thing to have ever have left my mouth. <laughs> Who knows? Either way, I'm going to leave this here. Um, I did do a lot of editing today. We had a lovely time in the sun, which is much appreciated for the UK. Um, and yeah, I'm going to do a bit more editing tonight. And then I think I'm going to put my feet up for a while and chill out. So yeah, thanks for joining me. I hope you enjoyed this vlog. If you did, please do feel free to subscribe to my channel and of course give it a thumbs up. And I will see you next week with another video. Bye! Mm -hmm.